Right, so what's on then? Yeah, by the title, that is right. A thousand horsepower, four-wheel drive Civic. This man right here is a nutcase, honestly. <laughs> what is going on? You know what, I haven't seen Ryan properly in time. We went, met, seen at Autofest the other day, but I haven't been down to see him. And I haven't seen a Civic once since it started to build, so. Four-wheel drive, right? Custom prop going in the bottom. Oh, I've got to show you this shit, honestly. The turbo is about three times the size of mine as well. But, holy shit. Mate, that turbo is going to take about 10 years to spool off, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mate, what is going on with that? Holy shit. Well, let me just run a few clips here a minute. Jesus. So yeah, as you can see behind me, it's pretty much some Frankenstein crazy shit going on right here. Ryan, uh, I've known Ryan for a few years now. Uh, met a few events and that when we was, uh, well, a few years ago, we met a few yeah, events, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so Ryan is fabricating my manifold, the side one manifold for McGann. He's also, as you can see, fabricating his own. Um, company name, R Fab, if you want to check it out, which you see right there. Some saucy worlds on that. And what type is this? So this is a G, is it a G40? Or? G45. G45. No, it's a, uh, G30. It's G45, thousand. Yeah. Twelve hundred. That's one. Twelve hundred. Yeah. There's a pulse off. So. Okay, now. So you're open for a thousand, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll get a thousand and turn it down a little bit. Do you even know where? What? Do you know any? I was suspect. Do you know or not? Off the uh, head. Speed factory rods, Wasco pistons. I'm not can't remember what the valves are. I've got Freya, Freya valves, it, spring containers, skunk two, skunk three pro tune, no, skunk two pro tuner three cams. Yeah. Obviously the inlet manifold. CRV box, yeah. uh, made my own diff mount to the back. Uh, it's gonna have the uh, Freelander prop shaft in it. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty yeah. basic stuff, really. You don't want to see it, honestly. Look at the state of it. Because you wouldn't think, you wouldn't think that obviously Ryan had to make, you know, he had to cut out the centre of the car to get the prop in. But to be honest, with the carpet and everything and now, you really, you know, wouldn't notice at all. You can lift it up, can you? You yeah. can lift it up. See what it's there. That's where the prop actually goes underneath. And you know, I'm trying to get everything in, but I can't really get everything in. Obviously, you can see the rear diff and the prop going across down there. He said, excuse the coilovers, because apparently they're just to get him around at that minute. So he's putting BCs on, but holy shit, you're like, what build this is going to be, isn't it? Let me know in the comments down below. Well, we're going we're gonna to do a review on this when this is done, isn't it? Yeah, shit, man. <laughs> He used to have, um, you might notice, he used to have a red EP3. Oh, um, a lot of people you knew that car, didn't they? Yeah, a lot of people, yeah. yeah. They, went, they went around, they got passed around. He got passed around after you sold it. Yeah. Fucking hell. Fuck, so he's someone burned it down. So. Yeah. So, yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be mental. You going to have any rear seats in it or not? I don't know. I would like to put full interior back in it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Have it a bit more. Full weight, sleeper in there, isn't it? <laughs> sleeper in <it. laughs> Mate, this thing's still it. I remember this last time, isn't it? Yeah, mate, this is the thing we moved last time. That's not going anywhere. It's still got H22 on the motor, but we'll get round that one. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> You're meant to, mate, honestly. Uh, what do you reckon? Comment below, because this is some seriously mad shit. But um, we're just going to quickly go size up and look at the options on my manifold and everything. Oh, actually, to be fair, right, grab a turbo. <laughs> grab my turbo. They're going to stay the difference. Put it next to you. <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? <laughs> you can actually fit two with mine in his. <laughs> oh, that is mental. Obviously, mine's internally gated and his externally gated, but yeah, that's, that's saucy that. A good point actually right I made a minute ago is because obviously, you know, how it sits on the manifold table like that, if I'm on track a lot, we're going to have to make some mounts because the whole car is literally going to be shaking the whole time and it'll probably... This is more heat as well, it gets hot. Yeah, hot, hot, cold, hot, cold all the time. Yeah, the the turbo on, you don't want to crack it, break yeah. it up. As, that, as you know, when metal gets hot, it expands and things like that. So, there you go. But yeah, it's absolutely mental, this thing. Like, all different new upgraded mounts, exhaust mounts, no, exhaust mounts, engine mounts, skunk ultra intake. I love this to be fair. It's nice and black, I love the black. Wrinkled black. Yeah, wrinkled so black. To match in there, That's yeah. naughty that. That's all been back. All the base beams, everything's been stripped out, painted, yeah. painted again. Everything's been painted. Everything's Not a spot of rust on this one, boys and girls. Let's say this. Freshy. So, here's the turbo right here. Um, what's the plan you come up with, right? What are we going to do? Uh, go 1.5, schedule 10, tubing, make a merge collector. Yeah. I'll get a flange cut and then I'll bring it down to you. 
we'll jig it up and make it done with it. Yeah. Nice. So that's the old manifold right there. Obviously, I'm going to leave that here right on the gasket so you can uh, get everything all mocked up and sweet. The only issue we've got is on mine. The servo's in a bit of a ball lake area. It's like right to the, obviously, it's a Civic, but it's pretty much on the right side of the, uh, where the engine would be, like right here. But it's quite fairly big as well. It ain't got so much depth like you do on a Civics here, so he's going to have to figure something out. But yeah, essentially, this is this is here on yours, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's a nightmare. But it'll make something work, mate. You've got so much room in one of these, yeah, isn't I know, you? I know, I know. Mate, so much room for activities, isn't it? I know. Fuck it, man. I did have the, the, uh, the G35 uh, 600 or something like that, and I put it in the bay. I was like, that's way too small. So, yeah. so I upgraded it straight away. Was that when you decided, like, shit, I was just going to fuck it? Yeah, well, no, I, was, well, I, wanted, I was scared to turn, but it, oh, it's a, oh, it's a G35. I can't remember what it was, but it's a. The 660 turbo, is it? No, it's, a, it's one of them. Was it a 770? It's a 900. Oh, 900. It's a GTX 35, the new, new Oh, new yeah, one. yeah. And, I, and I was, that, they say it's good for a thousand horsepower, but. Oh, uh, so what size are your injectors again? Uh, 2100 to me. Damn! Percy C. But, yeah, so you, what, you're, putting, you're putting four across the top and four across yeah, the bottom? I can have four at the top because it's the manifold. What, so you haven't. For drivability. For you're actually going to have over 4,000 per cylinder then? Yeah, but for, cause obviously <laughs> on the 2100. Uh, cold starts and drivability won't be that good. So you got the, you put little thousands at the bottom just for yeah. drivability. Right. So obviously I'm sure it's going to be like, I say daily, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a daily drive on yeah. the road. So. Let you all know as well. Ryan's literally done this all at home in his garage on his driveway. Yeah. On axle stands. On axle stands. This is literally this is literally as it is. How it's been. It's been that here for a while. How long has it been here? Uh, I've had the car over a year, so it's just yeah. progress. So it's little bits and bobs. I've literally done about 10 mile in the car itself. Yeah. This is some serious building right here, right? Fair enough, like, you know, I take mine down and get mine done because I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. But if you've got Ryan's knowledge and he knows what he's doing and he can come out and build something like this, it's just, you know, mind blown in a way. Kind of puts you at a mind where, you know, if you can put your mind to it and you're a good mechanic and you know what you're doing, you can get it done. But, you know, Ryan's gone full wham and he's been in the making for about, what, a year, year and a half now, hasn't it? So, right. uh, what was it? Was it? Oh, G35 1050. That's, that's what, it, what it was. That's what it was. And, and you like, would make 1050, but I don't reckon it would. It, I don't, this one here is good. Yeah, they never do, though, do they? Though. Usually, they, if you can't, it's no point maxing out a turbo yeah, either. Maybe on a six and a RB or something like that, it might yeah. but not the four cylinder case. Fucking hell, that's mental. Honestly, I'll just give you a comparison here. My fest. That is absolutely mad. I still, I still can't get over it, you know. I'm the first person to come down and see this properly, but shit. In a Civic as well, holy shit. What's the rate? What's the weight? Did you say as well? Uh, well, it weighs, it weighs uh, 1100 without a motor in it. 1100 without a motor in it, shit. Yeah, it's a shit, bro. Yeah, oh, so it's heavy, so it's probably it's close. I can't, it's like the curb weight on these stand is like 16, I think. Yeah, and what do you say? Your, what fuel system you're going for as well? Uh, it's just going to have. Uh, uh, Sell, sell in the boot, yep. A and 10 lines, straight to a rail, uh, uh, two Bosch 044s, yeah. and yeah, that's uh, a swirl pot. It's pretty basic stuff, really. But yeah, yeah. Well, you usually go what, like a two litre, three litre for swirl pot? Uh, probably two litre, to be fair. Yeah. I'll have a probably a 60 litre tank in the, in the back. Are you getting that made yourself, or are you get? Yeah, yeah, I'll make it all myself. Yeah, yeah, make it all yourself. Sweet, it's mad. So, literally, everything is made by him. That's up some, some mad shit. I still can't get over it. Well, this is literally a case of. Uh, the bloke she told you not to worry about. Fucking mine's that though. Never mind. <laughs> Feels like before we go get my, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go get my standard table and put it here so you can see like the difference up in sizes. Hold on. So there you go. See a difference now. We'll see. Standard. What I'm going for. Then if you want to be a big bastard, balls can go for Ryan. <laughs> State of that. Jesus. I need to make some more power on that. I yeah, I know. You see a difference now. This probably gives a better off. Better view actually from the one of my last videos, the difference in size and and so. Well, there we go then. Like, I, I don't really want more to say. Like Ryan's wrapped the car up now and everything. I'll go out there in a minute, but pff, I've just whipped out. Well, you've seen I've whipped out the small turbo and everything like that. But Ryan's just grabbing a little half fab. Best way too. Yeah. These look sweethearts. We put it on these. Probably not going to focus now. Let me put this down here. There you go. What well, them on the old money, innit? Yeah, crash your laser master there. They're good then, dude. Don't have a good, have a job on them. That's a that's a job yeah. working there. Yeah. When you get some like um, naughty uh, thing that have you seen on a rocker cover, I run out one of those little. Uh, you ain't got any in there, have you? Uh, I might, but I've got one here. <laughs> it makes them up. So if you're a little EP3 boys, I'm gonna get some done up. Ryan, probably get some of these made for yourself. Right, well. There she is, she's all tucked away now. There you go. If you haven't already followed Riot, well, if you haven't followed him already, go check him out. His Instagram link in the description down below. It's probably a short video, I know that, but 
you know, you've seen around most of the car now. I don't, I, well, to be fair, I don't get much underneath. I'll see if I can get it all. See everything here, it's all been under sealed and clean and everything like that. Mint. Everybody wants a diff kit made. Though. Yeah, everyone wants a diff kit made, everyone can easy fab them up now. Easy. But there you go. So, we'll wrap it up there, shall we? I mean, yeah, short video, but can't really do a lot in a minute because the car's, you know, still being built. So, what we'll do is we'll, we'll plan when this is done, let's go mad in the comments. And this will be a, a thousand. He's going to get it mapped by Jesse from JCal as well, so he's doing it properly and everything like that. And um, it's going to be sweet, but yeah, mad car. Check it out. Um, subscribe to guys. Honestly, subscribe to the channel if you're new because we've got more mad shit like this coming. I've been talking about Ryan for this for ages, and you know, he said he wants to get a video done now, so when it's all done, we'll go take it out. And um, yeah, if anyone's got a uh, sequential as well, let us know because he fancies one in the future. He'll probably whack one in the future, but yeah, it'd be naughty in this, wouldn't it? But what a build, honest. Mad. Crazy shit. I do love a Civic, as you know I've had probably like two or three of them myself, so I had DC5 that was boosted. I remember I used to go down Ryan Perrin and have a little, a little mash up, he used to run, eh? Yeah, we were literally here when we put my yellow speeds on, on my, on my old Civic, so... Long memories, eh? Fucking hell, that's a long time, well, to be fair, that's probably two years ago now, isn't it? Yeah, two years ago now, hell. But yeah, guys, subscribe to the channel if you're new, uh, smash a like on this video, and drop a comment down below. Uh, turn on bell notifications for every single time I upload and uh, we'll crack on with the McGann series very, very soon.